like this video is talking DCU news. In case you want some MCU slash Marvel news, that's a separate video. I will try to have a card pop up, depending on what order I publish them in. Anyways, uh, let's talk about some DCU news past the cute roaring dinosaur. First, we're being told that a Joker sequel is happening, and honestly, I feel like the film was so perfect that they could just end with one movie, but also it was so good that I would love a sequel, especially if we see the Joker just messing with Gotham and before Batman's even an adult and starts doing his psycho thing where he beats up mentally ill homeless people. Here's a really crappy image of Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman and we got some inside information about her and the Batman and in general what the movie is about. So first Reeves, the director, talked about what his film is in the Batman timeline saying, I wanted to see a Batman that was not an origin tale, but was sort of in his early days, but that meant that a lot of the characters who are the rogues gallery characters are in their origins in a way. So we have Selina Kyle, who's not yet Catwoman. Kravitz also talked about her character stating, Selina can take care of herself. She's incredibly tough. She really wants to fight for those who don't have someone else to fight for them, and I think that is where Batman and she really connect. Finally, producer Dylan Clark also talked about Selena Kyle sharing. What's most interesting about Selena Kyle is that she represents the savior for the ill-treated, the forgotten, the people who have not had anybody looking after them. She's also very complicated. You don't quite know where her loyalty or allegiance lay. I'm still really hoping and I'm totally cool if she has the what looks like a beanie uh, just cut out for her eyes that we see maybe a more evolved. Catwoman outfit, but I'm I'm not holding my breath and I'm totally okay with the origin stories for Batman's rogue gallery. I think that would be fantastic and very different than what we've gotten in the past. We got another official image of what Robert Pattinson will look like as the Batman and I don't know, I just feel like he looks like Batman. I'm sure he'll be fine. I mean, he has the cut jawline that will look good in a cowl, so, you know, good for you. Also, we are definitely getting Arkham Asylum in this movie, and I just, fuck yes. I am all about seeing the psychos in Arkham. Okay, let's go into Shazam 2 news. Apparently, the whole Shazam family are getting upgraded suits for Shazam 2, and according to the actors, we are going to absolutely love it, and they can't wait for us to see their upgraded suits. The little cutie from the first movie, Faith C. Harmon, shared that she will start filming for Shazam 2 starting next week. She's just finishing up another project she's currently working on. Kind of in a similar note, let's go to Black Adam. I know this might be a shock to you guys, but there's been leaks that at least one scene will take place in an ancient Egyptian tomb. Yeah, no fucking shit. I guess people were freaking out on Quintessa Swindell, who is playing Cyclone because they race Bent her character. She actually talks quite a bit on it and she's mostly ignoring people being upset about it, but here's what she said. It's 2021. Like, I'm tired. I just didn't really have an opinion of it. My focus is to learn as much about the character as I can, about the character, and do the character justice. There's so many elements of Cyclone that are so fascinating and so different than a lot of other superheroes I've seen. And our director for Black Adam has been the most amazing director to work with, as well as a studio, honestly. They've given so much leniency on the character and how the character is represented, and it's really, really beautiful because I try to do as much research as I possibly can. It just doesn't seem like, you know, the freedom to really craft the character is really given, especially if the character has such a large legacy. I think Cyclone being a littler, known character, kind of, it's just a lot of room to kind of figure it out and kind of piece together things that weren't necessarily pieced in the comics. I always think it's fun when actors and actresses research their comic book character and lore because I know there are other actors that are like, yeah, it's it's a job. I, I didn't bother even googling my character. I just don't give a shit. I will say on her character, I am sad that they erased yet another redhead, but... Kind of just expecting it at this point. If there is a comic book hero being cast in a live action movie and it's a redhead in the comics, it's not gonna be a redhead in the show because fuck us, we're soulless demons, I guess. And Whedon is a piece of shit news. It was confirmed by Gail herself, our Wonder Woman, that yeah, all the rumors were true. Whedon did threaten her, so here is what she said. Josh Whedon told me he will finish my career. He told me directly that if I do something, he will make sure my career will be miserable. I just love that the writers, directors that create some of the stuff that I love the most turn out to be trash individuals. 
kind of makes me feel like I'm attracted to trash people. Or maybe I'm a trash person that can sense my own kind and I'm drawn towards it. Anyways, if you're wondering, Whedon has a long history of doing really fucking awful things to women and minorities, so. I love a lot of your stuff, Whedon, but you're kind of a dirtbag. And by kind, I mean you are. In spooky news, not really, sorry. I guess I was talking that up a bit too much. Keaton's Batman's manor in the Flash movie was shown recently filming with fog machines all around it. So either we're getting a spooky scene, uh, maybe a nightmare scene, or it's just an action scene and they're using fog to make it look more epic while the, the older Keaton as Batman is fighting off enemies, which, I want to see an old Batman live action just beating ass. Oh, hey, there's a well in that manner too, so I'm guessing we're gonna get like one flashback of Bruce falling down the well and bat scaring him. Jeffrey Dean Morgan talked about coming back to play Thomas Wayne once more, and here's what he said. At the top of my list has always been Batman. That's always been my favorite superhero. And talking about Flashpoint has been very fun. I get asked about it a lot. I love the story of Flashpoint Batman. Who knows? Who knows with DC? Who knows with how these franchises work? I suppose I probably have like another two, three year window, and then I'm going to be too old. There's no way. So look, I'm available. Everybody knows I'm available. I say I'm available. I've been saying it for five years. We'll see what happens. There's so many superheroes. First, damn you ravages of time. Two, if we could see the alternate world where Thomas Wayne is Batman and instead his son dies, I would love it. Moving on, James Gunn shared new art for the Suicide Squad, and my god, it is so good. I wish studios released more art like this for comic book movies. Also, James Gunn hinted we have multiple post-credit scenes at the end of the Suicide Squad, so holy shit. Oh, and here's a first look at the character card for Mongol, and I'm gonna set it next to me. Apparently, she's going to fuck with Harley and Javelin and I'm here for it. Lastly, there are a lot of talks about the next Superman movie featuring a black Superman, and what's more interesting about that is there are talks that it won't be Clark Kent, but it will be Kal-El. And there is a lot of timeline shenanigans you can do with that. I, I wouldn't be surprised with Barry sticking his dick in the timeline, Barry. But man, my poor sweet angel Henry Cavell, I just... I know they talked about him having a supporting role and still appearing, but still, my heart aches for you, Henry. Oh shit, really quick, I forgot. The Iris West from the Justice League movie will be in the Flash movie, so they're not recasting her like we originally thought. So that's exciting, uh, Kersey Clemens. She's a good actress. I think people will enjoy her being Iris West in the Flash movie. I, I have no complaints. I am really happy for her though, because I thought it was kind of bullshit to recast her. Okay, so that is your DCU news. Like, subscribe, and come back for more sci-fi fantasy videos.